Greetings friends, David Marks here with a quick tip for you Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic users. Recently, one of my clients asked me if there was a way to quickly apply the same cropping ratio to a bunch of images, including a mix of horizontal and vertical shots. The answer to this question is easy, but like so many things in Lightroom Classic, it is completely hidden and it involves three poorly documented features. I'm gonna jump right into my Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic catalog now, and let's get started on this simple project. On the screen right now, are a couple of photos that I shot recently of one of my nieces. Before I began recording this video, I tuned up all of these individual RAW files, but I did not crop any of them. Let's say at this point that my goal for the day is to turn all of these photos into a series of eight by 10 inch prints. Now to keep this tutorial as short as possible, I'm gonna say that all of these pretend prints will be made for me at a local photo lab so that we can avoid any discussion of Lightroom Classics inkjet printing module. Likewise, I'm going to completely leave out the discussion of how to export a JPEG copy of these RAW files for a professional photo lab using Lightroom Classics export dialog since I've covered that topic in depth elsewhere. The part that I want to focus on today is how to crop each of these photos to the exact same aspect ratio using as few keystrokes as possible. The first step in the process here is to press the letter G on your keyboard which is of course the keyboard shortcut for the library module grid view in Lightroom Classic. That step is important. You must start in the grid view for this trick to work. Next, I'm going to select all of these photos at once. And there are three ways that I can do this. Option one, you could click on the first image, then hold down the shift key on your keyboard. And with the shift key held down, you could tap on the last one to pick from A to B. As an alternative, you could go up to the word edit on the menu bar and come down to the command for select all. Or for a third method, you can invoke the keyboard shortcut for select all, which is command plus the letter A on your keyboard on a Mac or control plus the letter A on a PC. Once you have all of the images that you want to crop selected, the next step is to open up the quick develop panel on the right side of your screen and then to open up the top tab. Up near the top in here is the option to apply the same crop ratio to all of the currently selected photos. For today's demo, I'm going to use the four by five ratio since those are the proportions that I'll need to turn all of these into eight by 10 inch prints. The process here would be no different if I were trying to export all of these images as square images, say for Instagram or some other shape rectangle for photo lab printing. The important thing to remember when you're working in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic though, is that the crop ratio is not the same as your exported images physical dimensions. Remember that the ratio in here only sets the proportions, which is why there are no units like inches or centimeters marked out. Anyway, as you can see, all of these images have now been cropped to that four by five ratio. And if the subject, if my niece had been right smack in the middle of each frame, then we might be done now. But of course, she moved around a bit from one shot to another. In addition, some of these frames are verticals and some are horizontals. So at this point, I need to quickly refine the crop on each image. The fastest way to do this is to click on the first frame so that it's the most selected and then to press the letter R on my keyboard. R is the keyboard shortcut in Lightroom Classic for the crop tool. In here, I can adjust the crop if needed by clicking and dragging my image around beneath the cropping frame. On this image, for example, I wanna move things over so that we don't awkwardly cut off any of her fingers. Now that's the only adjustment I need to make on this photo, so I'm ready to advance to my next frame. I could tap on the close button here at the bottom of the crop tab in the right-hand panel, or I could click on the done button down here on the toolbar to commit my changes. Both of these options close the crop tool, but since speed is what we're after today, the secret is not to close the crop tool at all. Instead, I'm gonna use a keyboard shortcut to move on to the next image without putting the crop tool away. That secret keyboard shortcut is the command and right arrow key on a Mac or the control and right arrow keys on a PC. Using command plus right arrow advances one frame and it keeps the crop tool open. And since the crop tool is still open, all that I have to do now is to say click and drag in to set a tighter crop on this photo while maintaining that four by five ratio. Once I'm happy here, it's command right arrow again to move on to the next one. Now, just in case you're wondering, when we jump from one image to another this way, Lightroom Classic understands 
that the crop that you had at the moment when you moved on is indeed the crop that you want. Let me prove this by moving backwards through the order using the keyboard shortcut command and left arrow or control and left arrow PC folks. As you can see when I move back one, the crop is exactly the way it was when we moved on. And just to prove that this is working perfectly, I'm gonna press the letter G on my keyboard to return to the library module grid view. As you can see, the crop that we just set on all three of these horizontal images is perfect. Well, now that we've covered the basic, let me add one more speed trick using these vertical images. I'm gonna click on this one here, and once it's selected, I'll again press the letter R to return to the develop module and to open up the crop tool. Now, our last examples were all horizontals, and as you can see, this one is a vertical. When I used the quick develop panel to send the same aspect ratio over to all of these images, Lightroom Classic did something clever for me. By default, when you use the crop ratio choice in the quick develop panel, Lightroom automatically adjusts the long and short dimensions of the ratio to match your image's orientation. When quick develop cropped a horizontal image, Lightroom Classic automatically made the long end, the width, match the five part of that four by five ratio. And thus it set the shorter side of the ratio, the four part, to the height of our cropped rectangle. Here though, on a vertical, quick develop automatically flipped the ratio around for us, since on a vertical shot, the height is longer than the width, hence the shape of the crop overlay that you're seeing right now. Although this is really clever, there are times when we want to crop a vertical into a horizontal or vice versa. In this scenario, changing the orientation of the crop tool can be super frustrating. One way to reorient the crop tool is to drag it way down so that it's tiny and then drag it back out in the other direction. Although this drag in and drag out method works, it's inefficient and it can be infuriating when you need to do this one photo after another. Fortunately, there's a much better method. The secret to flipping the crop tool from a vertical to a horizontal ratio, or vice versa, is the X key. When you press the letter X on your keyboard with the crop tool active, the crop overlay automatically rotates 90 degrees. So on this photo, all that I need to do is press the letter X on my keyboard and then drag the image around to reposition things. As soon as I'm happy, I can use our command plus right arrow shortcut to advance on to the next photo. Here, I can press X again and reposition. And on this one, maybe we'll come in a little tighter too by dragging from the corners. And once more, command right arrow, press the letter X, reposition, and I'm happy. At this point, I'm gonna press the letter G to hop right back to the grid view, and voila. Using these keyboard shortcuts, I can set the crop that I want in no time. Now that they've been cropped, these images are ready to be exported and sent off to the photo lab. Cropping all of them to the same ratio was fast and easy, but before I sign off, let me add one small warning. Remember that trick with the X key that I showed just a second ago? Well, this is one of those places where unfortunately, the Lightroom engineers use the same keyboard shortcut for multiple purposes. When you are in the crop tool, when the crop tool is active, the X key rotates the crop around. But when the crop tool is not active, or when you're in any of the other modes, X is the keyboard shortcut for the rejected flag status. If I press the letter X on my keyboard right now, just to demonstrate, this shortcut marks these images as rejects and queues them up for faster deletion. Now, if this happens to you, don't panic. If this happens, then all you have to do is select the image and press the letter U on your keyboard. U for unflag to remove that reject mark. Alternatively, you can click here on the tiny little flag itself in the grid view thumbnails top left corner to remove that status. Well, there you go. All of these images are now cropped and ready to be exported in no time. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you learned something today, then please hit the subscribe button and leave us a like or a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next tutorial.